Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing the remaining month of May reading start from the 22nd through the 31st of May 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for the remaining month of time. I will be adding regular cards in this reading but no charms will be added. So stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal leads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do all the daily readings. So Taurus, let's see what can you expect coming up for you for the remaining month time. Let's begin. The Fool, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. The Sun, Queen of Swords, Justice, Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles. I need to take you to have King of Wands. There is a back and forth energy that you would be having uh, in your life in the remaining month of time regarding your love life you would be feeling happy you would be feeling sad you would be feeling uh like taking action towards your specific someone then you would feel like no they should take the action towards me there's going to be a lot of uh, um back and forth uh in regards to your love life here because it seems like you know at times you feel like you know you are happy without the specific someone in your life but then you do miss them which is something that you cannot deny you miss the happy times that you had with your specific someone and then you would love to have some more, you know, good times together. But at the same time, you feel like, you know, I should not be the one reaching out to this person because they have done this and this and they have to come towards me instead of I always reaching out to them. So there will be this ego thing coming in the, between the two of you as well. Plus, you feel like, you know, you, des you deserve to get the justice in this situation this time around. You have always been the one making effort towards reaching out to this person. The energies could be completely reversed for some of you as well. Maybe it's the energy of the person that you are dealing with. They uh, they try to be happy without you, but then they do miss you and the good times that they had with you. But yes, they will not take any action towards you. Why? Because they believe that you are supposed to be the one reaching out to them this time around. Um, They really have love for you, but at the same time, they are putting up a face that, you know, they are okay without you, but they are not. They really miss you. They do feel that, uh, um, you will come back to them to offer them something stable, to offer them something good. But maybe, maybe when it comes to you and your energy, um, You don't take things seriously like you know again it, the energies could be of your person like you know whoever is uh believing that the other person needs to take action towards you know them um that person is really waiting for something stable to come in this connection that will help this connection to move forward without any further delay without any further like you know staying stuck in a situation where nothing is moving things have been like you know stagnant when it comes to the other person, the other person's energy is like very immature. Like, you know, they, they, um, they are taking it very, for, very much like a for granted stuff for them. Like, you know, they are not valuing this connection as much as the other person value this connection. Um, the best way to go about this connection would be, um, You both have to be on the same page. You know, if your person is not investing into this connection, you need to stop investing your time and energy into this connection as well. I don't think that this connection is going anywhere. Like, you know, you both are uh, very much in love with each other. But yes, there is a stubborn energy coming here from either side of you where this person is not ready to give into the connection, even though they are pretty much connected to you. Uh, or maybe you are pretty much connected to them, but you don't want to commit or you don't want to take it to the next level. So there is this stagnation. There is this stubborn energy. No, I don't want this right now. I need my space. I don't want to commit. I don't want to get married. I don't want to start living in. So there is this, you know, restricting energy coming from one person's end. The other person really wants this connection to move forward. Um, they are tired of this 
stagnation. They want things to move forward. How do you do that? The only way to go forward around it, uh, around this connection is be on the same page. Treat them as they are treating you. And that's how you will get it to the next level with your person. Uh, while you wait, while you wait for your person to um, maturely deal with this connection, maybe you can use law of attraction techniques to manifest the change that you desire coming from this person. A stable uh, offer of commitment, marriage, living in together. You don't want anything less than that. But then, um, or maybe your person doesn't want anything less than that. But one person out of the two people involved in this connection is definitely uh, going very slow around it, being very immature around this connection. So if you really want, if you are on the waiting side of your person, then you have to um, take a step back. Let this person come forward this time around. Don't make any effort towards them. Uh, only then things will change in this connection. Let's see what the oracle has to add to the read. New romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to receive and give love. Now, if you have always been the giver, you have to be open to receive this time around. Then only the connection is going to get balanced and uh, your person will needs to, you know, your person really needs to basically uh, understand your worth. Uh, they do, but they don't show that. They make you feel like, you know, as if you are the least important person in their life and that needs to be changed. You and your loved ones are safe. Like I said earlier, the connection is safe. You and the connection that you have with your specific someone is not going anywhere. It's just that one person is definitely taking the other person for granted. That needs to be changed. That attitude needs to be changed. Uh, and how do you do that? By, uh, by treating them the same way. One, using law of attraction techniques. Two, and... Uh, while you wait, you just give more time to yourself. Don't think negative around the connection. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. I feel like, you know, nothing in this world can stop you or your person to come together if you both want it. Right now, one person is purposely holding themselves back from this connection. It can be you, it can be them. Uh, but yes, it's, it's something that one person is doing purposely is what I'm picking up. It's, it's them maybe purposely holding themselves back. Don't fan your fears. They need to understand you need to trust. Um, they need to understand that they have to stop doing that. And you have to have trust that, yes, they will become um, more giving in the connection, maybe. But yes, let's see. One more card. Make the effort. Somebody really needs that because the other person has been doing all the effort and they are now tired of doing so. So the other person really needs to make some effort there. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So somebody has to take that first step now because the other person is not going to do that. So, um, yeah, this promise should come up for you for the remaining month time. If the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal read, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care and bye-bye.